Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is Corey Lee's Boxing. And um, if you like, please like and subscribe. And uh, without further ado, man, I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, but yeah, man, uh, your boy's back in a new fight. A.B. Adrian Broner will be fighting now. Once, 147-pound champion, Jesse Vargas. Jesse Vargas is coming off um, a couple good wins. Um, he's fought with the likes of Salam Ali. He lost to Manny Pacquiao. He's a pretty, pretty good fighter. So Adrian Broner said in a recent interview, he said, I'm excited that this is, this is an even bigger fight than Figueroa, said Broner. We're fighting at 144 pounds. So he'll have a slight weight advantage, but it won't matter. I know what I have to do at the end of the day to get back on top where I belong. And, um, you know, pretty much Broner, Broner's versus Vargas won't have a world title on the line for their fight in the main event as there, as there aren't any vacant belts available. <laughs> The World Boxing Council, WBC, sometimes hasn't come forward yet to volunteer one of their one of their specialty belts, like a belt, you know, when you're not when it's like a catch weight. But yeah, man, um, you know, WBC always doing something. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, man, um, Broner vs. Vargas is not the kind of a fight that would would warrant. For the WBC to put a um, commendative, commendative strap for the two guys to fight over. I think they had a single DeMille belt was what they talking about versus the Canelo fight. But yeah, it's going to be a pretty good fight, y'all. I mean, Jesse Vargas is pretty good. Um, you know, he just came back from a comeback fight. Um, I mean, like I said, I mean, is he a better fighter than... Is he a better fighter than Omar Figueroa? I'm not sure about that. That's a hard debate. That's up for debate, though. You know, that'd be a good debate right there, you know. But, hey, man, we'll, we'll see. You know, we'll we'll see. We will see. So, um, Jesse Vargas, his last couple fights, he's fought Aaron Herrera. He won by unanimous decision in 2017. <laughs> Before that, he fought in 2016. He fought Manny Pacquiao. Um, Manny Pacquiao. He lost to Manny Pacquiao. And, um... Wow, hold on. Oh, yeah, that was for the WBO World Welterweight. And that's... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now, it's, now I see. Okay, so the so Okay, now it makes sense. Now everything makes sense. So Saddam Ali fought Miguel Cotto for the 154-pound title, but Saddam Ali won the vacant WBO title in 2016, and uh, that's 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 um, when Saddam Ali and um, and Jesse Vargas fought. He beat Saddam Ali for the title for the 147-pound title. And that's when he became champion. That's when they moved forward to facing him, Manny Pacquiao. Him versus Manny Pacquiao. And then Saddam Ali went, ahead, went ahead to win another belt in a different weight class. That's what it was. So he, so his two losses is to Manny Pacquiao, unanimous decision, and Timothy Bradley. He beat the shit out of Antonio Mar DeMarco. Wow, he got a couple good... He got he beat a Jose Cito Lopez, Leonard Tyner. Um, Steve Forbes, um, Wale Omostu, um, Khabib Aladuredif, I don't know some of these guys he's fought, but yeah, man, he got a pretty good rap sheet, Jesse Vargas not a bad fighter, is he on AB's level though, is he on four time weight division champion level? This would not be for this would not be for a strap, so we will have to see, man. And as far as AB goes, you know he's got 
he's got uh he's got um you know belts over his head that he's got to deal with so we'll see how he does you know what i mean i think honestly i think he's a pretty good fighter Broner would do a great job i think Broner's the a side to this for sure so yeah man we're gonna have to see if pretty much if Broner is up for the, t the jesse vargas test do y'all think that this is a better fight than omar figueroa or this is a like a, a, a right at the same level type fight for Omar Figueroa. So we'll have to see, man. We'll, we'll really have to see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I think that this is a great fight. I think that this could, I mean, being that Jesse Vargas lost to Timothy Bradley. I mean, I, I don't, I mean, it's hard. I mean, would y'all put Timothy Bradley on the same level as A.B.? That's tough, right? Yeah, I know. But I mean, like I said, man, it's 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 gonna be a tough fight. Um, I'm swinging more towards Adrian Broner to win this fight. Jesse Vargas hasn't shown me a whole hell of a lot. He did beat Saddam Ali, but before that, who has Saddam Ali fought? This is before Saddam Ali won over Miguel Cotto. Um, you know, so hey, man, you know, we'll we'll see, you know. But only time will tell, man. So this is a new matchup, man. Um. So, yeah, man, I'll let people know that, you know, this fight's going on. And, you know, like I said, I got Broner winning this fight. It won't be an easy task. Vargas could outpoint him, but I doubt he'll get the decision. So this is uh, Corey Lee Boxing. Please let me know what y'all guys think, man. Put your uh, comments in the comment section, man. Let me know. I want to know what you guys think about this matchup. You know, is it a better fight than Omar Figueroa? This is damn sure not a stay busy fight, you know. Thur Keith Thurman said that if he were, uh, um, Jesse Vargas is a, is a stay busy fight for him. <laughs> if he won, he came back from wrist, from arm injury. This ain't a stay busy fight for Adrian Brown, I'm going to tell you that now. Jesse Vargas going to give Adrian Brown all he can handle. We'll see, man. We'll see, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. Please like and subscribe. It's Corley Boxing. Peace.